Hello crafty friends, it's Anna Komenda here and I have a quite simple layout to share with you today. I used Marigold collection from Crate Paper to make it and I started with fussy cutting all the flowers from this paper sheet and uh, I won't use all of them on this page but I like to have like an spare elements uh, for further project. I keep them with my ephemera pieces from a specific collection and I love Crate Paper lines because they always have this kind of uh, filled with flowers paper and I'm fussy cutting all the elements even the ones that are on the sides like cut it in half or in pieces only because I will use them on my page too so I'm not wasting a thing. It took me, I think, about half an hour to fussy cut all the elements. And I'm using We Are Memory Keepers uh, scissors. They are for precise cutting and they are just amazing. They cut like butter and they are my favorite ones to use for this kind of purpose. So I only showed you the bit of me fussy cutting because otherwise it would be very boring. Uh, for my background, I chose this uh, paper with wooden texture. This is also from uh, Marigold collection and I printed three pictures. Two of them are uh, photos from my scrap room. Uh, it was recently uh, cleaned out. <laughs> yeah, it was a major task. It took me like six days to go through each box and each <laughs> container and each shelf to uh, kind of pick uh, items that I will use to organize them. I'm still not happy with few um, systems, but it still works and looks better than it used to. And there is also a picture of me as a queen in my kingdom. Um, uh, I am arranging the flowers uh, on the outer edges of the background paper. As you can see, some of them just peek behind the edge. Do not worry, I will trim the, them later when the page will be finished. I glued the pictures using pieces of um, cardboard. I use this very light weighted white cardboard that is used to make chipboards. Mm, but you can also use anything else that gives dimension. If you like uh, foam adhesive, you use foam adhesive. If you, if you would like, do not add um, dimension that just glue things flat. Uh, I do not store my layouts in uh, page protectors and in free ring albums, so I do not have to save the space. Um, uh, and I can kind of go wild with dimension. Well, not so wild, but wild-ish, I would say. And now I'm gathering my uh, foam adhesive. I have three kinds of foam adhesive from scrapbook.com. My all-time favorite strips, uh, bigger circles and smaller circles. And I'm using uh, both uh, circles and this kind of a leftover part, which is also great for bigger surfaces. And you, not, you do not waste a piece of foam uh, this way. And I'm uh, mounting all of the uh, roses I fussy cut it using those elements. Just remember, do not add the adhesive on the part that is sticking out from the page. If you want to, you can use your pencil to mark uh, those edges so um, you will not waste a, a dot <laughs> of the adhesive here. Uh, it also took me about 15 minutes to do so, so I cut it. Uh, the, a part of me gluing the roses down uh, but just be aware that this layout didn't came to life uh, within 10 minutes of course so this is it i already glued down all the flowers and i'm flipping the layout and cutting the excess off um that's uh, this way i will have like an even edge and i'm also saving some of the rose uh, elements that were sticking uh, out just the, the ones that are big enough not all the pieces i'm just choosing the ones that i think i may use later i know <laughs> it may seem like a lot not everyone is uh, saving that much but believe me sometimes these little pieces are the most useful at least for me 
So I have the pictures done, I have the flowers done, and I just need to embellish my page and add title. I went through Marigold Ephemera pack. I also have the pack of flowers from this collection, like a second ephemera. And I'm arranging um, the ones I chose. You can see them in the orange bowl. Um, this is like a pre-selected item that might work to my project and I'm mounting them uh, around the pictures. I don't want to overdo this because I already have quite decorative and intricate edge thanks to the flowers. So I don't want to add, add too much around the pictures. I want them to still kind of stand out as an element of the background. Uh, I'm gluing the flowers. I also found this uh, ribbon, paper ribbon. I'm gluing it down too. I try to keep my elements in this limited color palette of bluish, uh, pinkish, and greenish. <laughs> uh, I was thinking about adding yellow, but then I decided no, it's just too much. Well, it would work, but I would have to add much more than just one or two flowers. And I'm going through 6 by 12 stickers from Marigold collection. I'm going through chipboard stickers, those in 12 by 12 size. And I'm adding bits and pieces here and there, like this house. I added the house because this is the layout about the scrap room which is in the house. So I thought that the house might be related here and uh, almost each great paper collection has at least one or two houses so uh, well you have to use them in this weird context otherwise you wouldn't use them at all at least me uh, i wouldn't use them at all so i just like to add them here and there with no specific like meaning i would say so i'm going through other elements and I'm using uh, those foam adhesives that I already showed you to mount elements too. So I think the final element that is on the top of the tops is three layers of foam high above the surface of the background. I also have those puffy stickers. Those are also Marigold collection and they are just the perfect little finishing touches. And I'm adding the title. These alpha uh, stickers, uh, those alpha stickers are from, I don't know which collection, they are at least a year old. I have like 100 of stickers. I'm addicted uh, into using them. And uh, I just thought gold letters will uh, match uh, my page. And I am creating a title which is my kingdom. And I added my on the upper side of the picture. And now I want to add kingdom, but I'm not sure how long it will be and where to place it. So I have this trick. I have a piece of uh, acetate sitting on my desk. And uh, the first benefit is that you can see through so uh, I can glue down uh, the letters using the line on my uh, on my uh, grid, and I also can move around uh, the title and check if it's the place that I uh, would like to see it. And because of the uh, foil being trans transparent, you can easily uh, see if it's the right spot. Plus, I am gluing the letters on the very edge, uh, so I can transfer them to the background by only pressing them and trying to release the foil from beneath them. So my title is done and I also have those sticker rolls from uh, from Marigold collection and I'm trying to fit a few of those uh, uh, into the background. I just love the designs but the thickness of the stickers is not so great. They are easy to tear off so you have to be careful. And now the final stage, I am adding uh, like this cherry on the top element uh, per drops. And I'm using new pop of colors from scrapbook.com. They are very thick, which means that you can build up quite a solid dot. They do not spread 
uh, to the sides and if you uh, will place them uh, they will stay like this they will not flatten in time when you will wait after they are dry which happens with some of the liquid pearls and uh, because of they are quite thick they tend to uh, kind of have this pointy point <laughs> on the top if you want to avoid it just um, adhere the drop by this swirly move like i'm doing here i'm not doing it from the top to the bottom i'm just doing this circle at the end um with my hand so it won't create this like a pyramid like uh, shape it will create a really nice round uh, dots and with uh, pops of color or any other uh, liquid purse you can create as many as you want so this is it this is the uh, final project thank you so much for uh, staying with me i hope you get some useful tips from me and uh, if you would like to check the description box, here are the links to the products I used. Thank you so much and see you somewhere else. Bye.